Good evening everyone, it's currently 6.35 p.m. here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and as you can see in the background, we are currently in front of a KFC because today, we're gonna try some KFC chickens today and see how different it is compared to Thailand or Australia Without further ado, let's go in Alright, so it looks like there is a massive line in front of us uh, Can I get the um, Chizilla box? Yeah. Uh, oh no, no, just a little box today. Can I get the signature box then? Okay. Have you I have it here, and I also want to get the banana balls. Banana balls. Okay. Yep. And all yep. Just three pieces. So they said the chisel box has just run out. So you have banana balls. Okay, awesome. And can I also get a jelly ice cream as well. Jelly ice cream. Uh, that one. That, this one doesn't have. Oh, so down. Have. Okay, we'll try that one then. Okay, so, see the box. Spicy or is it? Spicy. Okay. Uh, Coca-Cola? Don't have Coca-Cola. Pepsi, what did you? Pepsi. Pepsi. So, 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 25, 90 cents. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, I am. <laughs> thank you. So, we've got a five pieces banana balls, and we've got the signature box Zinger Classic, and that costs $15.99. And also we've got the brownie fudge, which is the dessert. Um, and we've also got a Pepsi there as well. So while we're waiting for our meal, I also want to show you that here in Malaysia, KFC, they've got nasi lemak here as well. And then some classic meal it actually comes with rice, which is very unusual in Australia. But I know in most Asian countries, KFC, they have rice. And apart from that, these are some common KFC options you see everywhere else in other countries as well. And I think those desserts are the only thing that that's different. And you've got those Nazi Kanda bowl and Lola Potato bowl that I haven't seen that before in other countries as well. So overall, I would say the options here in KFC Malaysia are very diverse. As you see, you can get Nasi Lamaki in KFC. You know, so you can get you know classic meals with rice. And then you've got different types of dessert here as well, not just the typical ice cream. And of course, you've got Nasi Kandabo, I'm not too sure what that is and also you got loaded potato pot with heaps of cheese on top as well It's unfortunate that they don't have cheese left today but we'll try it another day Banana ball too kan? Yeah That banana ball, kita tak ada So kalau ganti dengan cempedak ball boleh tak? Uh, uh, yang cempedak ball tu baru juga So why not you try that? Try. that okay, one. yeah sure yeah. Okay, thank oh, you Yeah, no worries Okay, I have no idea what she just said but yeah, we'll get that <laughs> so the chopper dot boy we said up later. Oh, okay, chopper dot boy. What, what uh, was that? I mean the chopper dot boy. This one. Uh, this one is uh, promotion also. So okay. Nice. More spicy. All right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's bring it upstairs. Okay. First of all, we've got the zinger burger. So pretty much this looks like the one in Australia, except uh, maybe the cheese looks a bit different. And we've got a piece of chicken, we've got some chips, fries, or you say, I've got tomato sauce. And we've got our pack of dessert as well. And of course, our drink. And then we've got one more dessert coming up, which is the replacement of the banana balls. And also for dinner tonight, I also picked a window seat here so we can see what's going on in the streets as well. Alright, let's give this um, cheese ball looking thing a try. Oh, the hot. So I don't really know if I like it or not and I don't know what it tastes like because it's something that I don't think it tastes anything similar to anything that I've had. So um, right, let's give it another shot just to give it a better taste. I don't know how to describe it but it's, it tastes like, all right, let me come back to you guys, let me think of a better word and I'll put the two words, put it to a sentence together. What is this again? Tem Jambara Po. Jambara Po. Yeah. What Jambara? No. What Jambara Po? Okay, Jambara. It's got Jambara. I still don't know what that is, but I guess uh, we'll try another day to find out what it is. Alright, so first thing first, I think we should try the fries first. Pretty standard fries, I would say, compared to the ones around the world. In general, the ones in Australia, they are a lot saltier, so. Yeah, they're just like, you know, fast food, typical fries. Um, yeah, nothing too special or nothing too, you know, unique. 
taste fries. Fries always taste good. All right, so now that we've tried the fries, let's try the chicken. Chicken is nice, but it's very salty. Very, very salty. It's a nice crispy as the ones in Australia, and it's a lot salty as well. But overall, I think the, you know, the seasoning and um, maybe the herbs or everything. Um, yeah, the seasoning is quite good, except it's just a little bit salty. So now that we're done with the chicken and the chips, let's have the burger. Alright, so this is how the burger looks like. And you've got that big slide of cheese as well. I feel like the taste of this chicken burger itself, it's pretty plain I would say. Um, so you know, it's just bun, lettuce, chicken and cheese and then bun again. So it just tastes like what a normal um, chicken burger, but then not quite a chicken, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like, a, it's not the most flavorful chicken burger I've had, but you know, KFC. So, all right, so after having this chicken burger, I would definitely say the chicken burgers in, you know, Korea, in Thailand or in Australia definitely have a higher edge than this one. Um, yeah, the flavor is just really plain in general. All right, this might be the highlight of this whole meal. This one here, delicious. All right, so now that I've left KFC, I can give an honest review. So let's do item by item. So first up on the menu, we've got the chicken burger. So I thought the chicken burger itself, it tasted really bland. So the fried chicken, it just tasted like, um, it just tasted like, I guess like a home cook. No, it tasted like McDonald's in a way. It tasted like McDonald's. So it feels like low production, really, you know, uh, low production burgers. So you've got the bun, and it's fried chicken, lettuce, cheese, really layer by layer, and they don't really quite go along together. Um, and then next up on the menu, we've got the chicken and the fries. So the fried chicken itself, so in general, I love salty food, and this one right there was too salty for me, even for me. And the fries, I thought it was Good, I guess I love fries regardless of how, how, how it tastes like I love fries I'll eat them um, but the fries itself I thought it was a bit oily I would say and yeah not quite the same as the ones in Australia the ones in Australia are epic by the way and third on the menu we've got a sempent duck balls I'm not saying that it doesn't taste good but it's just something that I'm not very used to tasting because um, I have never had sempent duck before so I don't really understand or don't really expect how it tastes like and I must say I'm not the biggest fan of it but I just looked it up online, apparently it's in the same family as jackfruit. So yeah, I guess that's the first experience trying some pet duck. So maybe later on in Malaysia, I will find a some duck store and really try the some pet duck just to get a better understanding of how it tastes like. Um, but yeah, that's the some pet duck balls. I didn't really particularly like it, so I left two behind. And next up, we've got the Pepsi drink. So I think the Pepsi drink compared to the ones in KFC Australia. The ones in Australia, they're a lot sugary. A lot more syrup this one here has less syrup and tastes less sugary so i kind of prefer this one here and then the mvp of tonight's kfc dinner has to be the chocolate fudge because the chocolate fudge tastes absolutely amazing 10 out of 10 goes to that one i think overall for tonight's dinner at kfc malaysia i think overall is it filling yes it is very filling is it delicious though not quite i would say it's around if i have to give a rating overall for this dinner i would say it's around four or five out of ten because compared to the ones in other countries for example like Korea, uh, Thailand or Australia I just thought the KFC there tastes a lot better than the one here unfortunately so sorry KFC Malaysia but yeah four out of ten for you guys anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you guys don't know it already I post daily vlogs here on this channel so don't miss out subscribe now press the like button comment and I'll see you guys tomorrow see ya